father accused of honor killing his teen daughters finally caught in Texas, in the United States of America. Yasser Abdel Syed, a Louisville uh, cab driver, wanted in connection with brutal slayings of his two teenage daughters, is in custody in North Texas after 12 years on the run. According to the FBI, Syed, who was considered armed and dangerous and known to carry a weapon while driving his cab, was apprehended without incident by SWAT agents from the FBI's Dallas field office. Yasser Syed had been on the run since 2008 after police said he took his daughters, 18-year-old Amina and 17-year-old Sarah, to get something to eat on New Year's Day. He put the girls in his taxi cab and left the left their home in Louisville, where he a- allegedly shot them both in the back of their cab as they sat in his car. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Wait. Is this a taxi driver? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I had the wrong news up. Hold on. Let me get the right one. This is the right one. Mm-hmm. This is, is this the right one? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely reprehensible what he did. I wanted to highlight this because although the murders took place in 2008, I think um, people in America often want to believe that these things don't happen here. Honor killings, they do happen here. And I'm really glad that this man was finally captured. Um, Are these the daughters? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He he killed them both? Mm Mm-hmm. For what reason did you say? Um, it's not entirely clear. Um, let me. Uh, How do we know? And this is him, right? Yeah. Give your take while I um, look at these details real quick. So how do we know? How do we know it was? I mean, what's the definition? I guess if a father kills his daughter, it's pretty close. It's pretty. Oh, wow. He was on the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitive list for a really long time. Jesus. So the system actually failed these daughters. Mm-hmm. Catch them. Uh, uh, oh, Ethan is saying they were supposedly dating non-Muslim guys. How old were they? Oh, 12 um, years. No, he's been on the run for 12 years. They oh, were yeah, okay. 18 and 17. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. He just killed them because they were dating non-Muslim boys? According to a report by the Dallas Morning News, the girls alleged their fathers had um, sexually and physically abused them after he pulled a gun on Amina, threatening her life after learning she had a boyfriend. Now, Faraz is saying he killed them for dating and being too westernized. Yeah. God damn it. See, this is the this is one of those times I get tempted to throw away my values. And say like you know, you know, yeah. You know, like, God damn it, man! Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Um. But we can only hope that he's brought to justice under the fullest extent of the law. Um. These girls deserved so much better in life. They deserved to be free. Okay, so the news is getting more attention right now because of the sentencing, even though, like, this happened. Um, what, this he hasn't happened. been sentenced. He just got caught. He got he just caught, caught after t- yeah. 12 years on the run. Jesus. How did he – okay, how did you how did you get away from the FBI for 12 years? Like, what the hell? Probably given the nature of his work as a taxi cab driver, he was able to move around more often and be more transient. That's my assumption. How do you even have a job if you're under, like, running from the law? This makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Aren't you supposed to have, like, a license to br- drive a taxi or What the hell? Is it that, is it that easy to go under the a- radar in the United States from the FBI? That's insane. It is insane, especially because he was one of their 10 most wanted fugitives. So he was a right. high priority. Should we give the whole? I don't know if people know about our stance. Is can this be blamed on Islam or not? Every time I feel like I keep repeating myself every time, but there are new people here. Should I every should I just go over it every time that this happens? Can honor killings be blamed on Islam? It's worth repeating. <sighs> okay. 
Um, technically, there's nothing in uh, the Quran or in the Hadith that allows you to kill your own daughters. This is punishable in Islam. Um, you know, you can't just kill innocent people. Uh, and even if there is any punishment for adultery, uh, it can only happen through a court, blah, blah, blah. There needs to be judgment. You cannot just do, a, you know, take the law into your Sharia law into your own hand and all of that, right? And killing of your own daughters is definitely uh, haram in Islam. It's sinful. You're not allowed to do it, right? Uh, so in that sense, there's no direct calling for this in Islam. However, there must. Uh, how is there a correlation? It seems like the vast majority like um, of honor killings happen in um, people with Islamic backgrounds. Uh, so there does seem to be a correlation. Does this correlation suggest a causation? It, it might because of the type of attitudes that Islam indirectly promotes that leads to this type of thinking without actually directly calling for it. Um, an honor-based culture, um, a sense of having ownership over uh, women, um, and also some direct um, incentives by having lower punishment for killing your for killing your your as in owning uh, the people or your woman over your men like uh, the punishment for killing your daughters is less than the punishment for killing your sons um and so there's a lot of incentives and there's also uh, pr promoting honor culture um, and also a sense of ownership over women does encourage this type of behavior and for people to understand for people with a Christian background to understand uh, how this is comparable to something in Christianity is like, is for example, if considering Christianity, it doesn't anywhere in the Bible suggest that it's okay for you to molest children. However, you see child molestation is uh, common more in religious circles than in non-religious circles in uh, for example, the Catholic church, church is famous for it. So can we say that Christianity deserves no blame given that there's nowhere in the Bible that it allows you to molest children. And um, so the answer is yes and no, no, because it, uh, you can't blame them because there's no direct calling for it, but also yes, because uh, religion does pro promote an environment and a certain attitudes for that kind of behavior to become more normal. For example, two things that Christianity could make this more likely is Giving us uh, giving a sense of authority to people that um, and credibility to people that deserve no authority and, and getting parents to trust us, uh, higher authorities uh, that have not proven that they deserve that trust at all uh, for them to have any uh, control or any um, any you know any. Um, any right for them to look after you or look after your children or given or be given authority over them. Um, that level of trust is given through a religious environment and should, that shouldn't be given. It wouldn't have been given to them in any, any other way. And also the sense of uh, all sins are basically the same. You steal a candy, you molest a child, you commit genocide, potato, potato. They're all just sins. We're all just sinners. We're all become all sins are forgiven through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That kind of attitude also promotes that. So basically, indirectly, religion is responsible for these kinds of these kind of behavior. And that's why there might the correlation might also suggest that there is a causation. Again, correlation does not always prove causation, but it highly suggests causation. Anyways. <sighs> Can we like record this and just like me like every time there's an honor killing I just like doop play it and then go I don't know because I have to do but I did a good job without like without actually like reading off of a script or something right I think it did yeah and you kept it concise um, to answer some of your questions about how he was able to get away um, um, they are they also arrested his son and his brother in relation to this because they are being charged with harboring a known fugitive. So they're saying that um, after 12 years of frustration and dead ends, the pursuit of the killer never ceased. Um, wait, where did it go? Um, basically, they believe that he was able to get away for so long because he was being sheltered by 
other people in his um, Egyptian community across the United States and possibly in Egypt. Um, yeah, they said that they know that he has been multiple places, although they didn't elaborate about where those locations were outside of Texas. Syed was born in Egypt and investigators believed he had been seeking shelter in communities with Egyptian ties or in New York City, Canada, or Egypt, where he is known to have had connections. You know, saying I'm surprised there were people covering for this guy for that long. It's also weird how they weren't tempted by the reward money, assuming it's a high, it's high since he's on the top 10 list. Um, and Yuval is saying that link is a, the link that I mentioned is a big is a bit of a stretch. It's like CS linking atheism to what is this gulags, gulags in the USSR. Um, well, I mean, it's, well, what I'm saying is not technically a stretch because the data supports that honor killing happens in Islamic. With Islamic, I think the second highest is Hindu background by but but by if you adjust per capita by a huge margin. But honor killing is very much tied to the Islamic world and mm -hmm. people with Islamic with Muslim background. So I don't know how that's a stretch. Mm, I mean, the vast majority of atheists, like, is there a correlation between? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think. I mean, the data backs it up. The data backs it up. Come on, guys. So I'm and I'm just providing a hypothesis. You guys could prove me wrong. I mean, I'm not. This is not even a theory. This is just a hypothesis. Uh, Suha is saying like and subscribe. Yes, everybody like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Twitch and everywhere else. Link in the description. Um, all right, all right, all right. Should we should we go to the next news? Yeah, just as I said, I hate you as saying if you don't send for Susanna off to the gulag. No, I do not support that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Guys, hashtag simp for Susanna and the like it. Okay. All right, go on, go on. Sorry. Okay. Um, no, 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 wait. Simp for Armin. Simp for Armin. Not simp for Susanna. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I advertising for you? I thought we were competing. All right, go on, go on. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 